Friends, we have come together today in the presence of God to witness this man and this woman uh, join each other in holy matrimony. From Genesis to Revelation, we see God's deep interest in family. As an oath taken before the Lord and these witnesses, I receive you today, Kirsty, as you are, and as God's perfect provision for my wife. Kirsty, it is my highest privilege and joy to remain faithful to you, to lead you, and to seek your good despite life's trials, difficulties, and tribulations. Now the Bible talks about man and woman becoming one flesh. The two of you become one through marriage. You mu must let go of your way of doing things and grasp a hold of our way of living together. Instead of being alone, it means you join together as two capable individuals on your own. And in doing so, you'll find yourselves stronger through Christ, seeking to lead each other with a clear head and a pure heart. Christian marriage is a covenant. It's about choosing to be the right person, not trying to find the right person. It's pledging love and commitment no matter what. It's no longer about you, it's now about us. With God as my source and my strength, it is my firm desire to continually honor and adore you, <laughs> to cherish and be loving toward you at all times and in all ways. And without a moment of hesitation, in my heart, I joyfully give my life to you and enter this covenant for as long as we shall live. Roland Lewis, I will forever delight in the way you captured my heart. In the presence of God and these witnesses, I, Kirsty, joyfully receive you, Roland, as God's gracious provision for me. I vow to listen and take seriously your invitations to relinquish fearful thinking in exchange for trusting wholeheartedly that God loves me. With God's help, I vow to love you as God first loved me without punishment or reservation. I vow to always seek connection and healing with you and God. Roland, it is my fondest joy to remain faithful to you through all disappointments, difficulties, and tribulations tender love and sincere forgiveness to flow through me always. It is my firm ambition to honor you, to cherish you, to submit to you, and to be with you always. Without reservation, I forsake all others and commit myself to you as long as we both shall live. By the power of Esther the Beast, by God and the state of Florida, in Grace City Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Roland, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>
got a way of keeping me up most nights It's always worth the sleep I sacrifice And love is too precious to trade for rested eyes And you look beautiful in the morning light I don't know how you feel the air in your lungs Cause you could talk your way around the big old sun But I keep hoping that the end won't come, honey I could listen to you all day long hey! When the words roll out along we thought Thank you. 